Hello everybody and man, it has been such a busy few days for me. It's my, it was my mother's birthday on the 13th. So me and her did something for that and then we had to go and visit my sister today when she lives like three hours away and then tomorrow we're having dinner with my sister-in-law and my brother. So I've just had a really busy few days trying to organize my mother's birthday and get to see everybody and all that stuff. So man, I've just been really, really, really tired. But today I have a gameplay for you of two different games. This game is just the gameplay of Domination. It's pretty kind of normal. And the second one is a gameplay that I got into super, super, super late on Nuketown and kind of just did my thing. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I get asked quite a lot. And that is how do you balance work slash school with playing games? How do you actually manage to do good in school or good at your job and still manage to play video games and not feel like you're missing out on playing games? So this is obviously something that I've had to go through. I've had to struggle with how to balance it correctly both when I was at school and now when I'm actually in the workplace. And it's not something that's easy because obviously you have the temptation of playing video games right there in front of you all day, every day. And it's so easy to just hop on your Xbox or your PC or your PlayStation or whatever and think, oh, I'm just gonna play one game and then I'm gonna do my homework. I'm just gonna play one game and then I'm gonna go and do this work that needs to get done. But that never happens. You will never just play one game. This is a fact. You will never ever ever play one game and that's something that I've always kind of fell victim to is I'll be like, oh, I'm not really in the mood to do work right now. I'm just gonna play one game then I'll be in a better mood. Yeah, that's that's right. And then that one game either goes really well and you're like, oh, I'm on a winning streak. I don't want to stop now or it goes really bad and you're like, oh, I don't want to stop on a bad note and you keep playing. So the tips that I have for you, the number one tip that I have is don't procrastinate like that. Don't do it. Don't just think I'm gonna play one game because you won't. And I, I lie to myself like that all the time. I still do it to this very day, but it's a lie that you're telling yourself to excuse yourself from doing whatever work that you need to do and allowing yourself to play games. And you usually end up putting it off whatever work it is and when you do finally get around to doing the work, you'll end up not putting in as much effort as you usually would. The product, well, the end result won't be as good as it should be. So tip number one, do not tell yourself that you're gonna just play one game because it is a lie. So this next little tip is something that definitely works for me. I don't know if everybody works like this, but I'm the kind of person that works on a routine. And if you are similar to what I'm about to describe about myself, then this might work for you too. So if something isn't in my daily routine, and it can be something as simple as checking my email, I tend to not do it. It's really, really, really hard for me to find the motivation to do something that is not in my routine. Because if something's in my routine, I'm so used to doing it, my body and my mind is prepared to do whatever activity it is because I do it every single day. That's why it's always really good to get into a schedule and a routine with working out or exercising going to the gym it makes it a lot easier to keep going to the gym because it's already in your daily routine so that's definitely definitely how I work I have to have something in my routine or I struggle to find the motivation to get that done so a really good way that I found to get something into my daily routine is to set a schedule, like physically write down a schedule, put it on my wall or wherever I'm gonna look at frequently, because then it's right in front of you. You cannot deny it. You cannot go and do this and do that because it's not on your schedule. You stick to that schedule. Now you can schedule your entire day from when you wake up to when you go to sleep, but I only tend to schedule my free time, which is like when I come home from work because I don't have anything to do. And if I don't plan what I'm gonna do, I will just do what I want and not what I have to do. So an example of my schedule would be to come home, eat some food, watch TV for a little bit, and then I'll do whatever work that I need to do. Calling customers, responding to emails or whatever. I'm a customer service agent, by the way, just so all this makes sense. And then I will go and record some gameplay for YouTube. I will upload, I'll record or whatever. And then I will go and play video games. So I make sure I get stuff that I have to do right at the beginning before I start doing things where I can just sit there and procrastinate my ass off for hours and hours and hours.
Of course, with the YouTube stuff, recording gameplay, I can just do that in my gaming time as well. But in terms of recording and making sure that the recording for that day is done, I like to get it done before I start playing games because like I said, I procrastinate. I am the queen of procrastination. If I didn't do this, I would literally upload at like two o'clock in the morning every day and no one would see any of the videos. Also, I do want to note that when you come home and you're eating and watching TV, I only allocate an hour to do that. So I'll eat, maybe watch an hour long program, eat, finish watching the TV show or whatever, and then go and do what I have to do. And the reason that I do that is because TV is a new, another really good way to procrastinate your ass off. Watch this TV show, watch another one, watch another one. So I only allocate myself an hour. So that's really important as well. Just give yourself a little bit of time to eat and relax before you start doing work, but make sure you don't stay there for too long because the TV will trap you and you will never leave. So just to summarize, make sure that you get your work, what you have to get done, done first. Do not play video games before you get that done, trust me. Trust me, your work will suffer in its quality or you will just straight up not get it done if you choose to play video games before doing that. Also, to work something into your daily routine, set up a physical schedule and it should become much, much easier as you stick to that schedule on a daily basis. So I hope you guys found this useful. It's definitely possible to go to school or go to work and have a very fulfilling video game life. <laughs> okay, I'll speak to you later. Bye.